minutes until blog comment post should be done. What? Only five minutes left? Done! Wow! Do you need any help? Um, you do know the simple steps of blog commenting, right? Huh? Okay, first, complimenting people in specific ways. Complimenting in a specific way. If you like what someone did, tell them. If you if you see something fantastic in somebody's blog, show them. For example, I like how you asked us a question at the end of your blog. When you comment, your sentence start like I like how you. So remember to give positive and clear feedback to your reader. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Hey dudes, we're going to teach you about three tips on how to add new information to your feedback. The first tip is to tell the writer new information that is not from the piece of writing they wrote about. That gives new information for the other person to write about. The second tip is to give some fun facts to the writer about that topic. The last tip is correct mistaken information and tell where you got that information. So that way the writer will know to go that information from. For example, if someone was writing about circuits and called the wires conceptors, but in Wikipedia you searched stuff about the wires and it said it was called a conductor, so you tell the writer that it's actually called a conductor and you tell where the information you got from where it was. Bye! Now let's learn some tips about, about meaningful, meaningful connections. connections. Meaningful connections means to make a connection between you and the author. Tip 1. To make a meaningful connection, you have to describe your experience or point of view. By adding your five senses, which are see, hear, smell, taste, and touch, depending on the situation. Tip two. Tip two. Uh, connect feelings. Connect your feelings with the author. What you've learned, what you think you'll feel like, and what you felt from the same experience. Did you learn anything from our tips? Remember to make a meaningful connection with the author. Next, let's move to ending with questions. Hi, we are here to tell you that you have to end with a question or a suggestion. For example, if someone writes about the Statue of Liberty and he or she forgets to write the height of it, then it is suggest to them to add the height or ask him or she how high it is. Did you know that the Statue of Liberty is 93 meters high? You could start with I wonder. Or could you maybe beautify on? Or can you please? Don't forget to end with a question or a suggestion. Hello, today we're going to tell you why you should revise and edit your comments on Blogger. Let's see what you want us to say about them. Revising and editing is an incredible step because other readers can see what you think about other people's blog. When you go to revise, look at it again and use your arm. Add. Remove. Proof and substitute to make it better. You should always go back and check your writing for grammar and spelling. Oh yeah, I almost forgot punctuation. If you don't check, if you're mad right, something like this, let's eat grandpa. But, but it, it is, is actually supposed to be, let's eat, comma, grandpa. See how that changed? Punctuation, punctuation and grammar and the new reading what you wrote can help you a lot. Don't forget, Add, remove, remove, punctuation. Wow! That was a lot of information from 5KC. We learned how to compliment the writer, add new information, make connections, ask questions, and the importance of revi revising and editing. Now, now you go, go comment on someone's blog. blog.